Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to store Microsoft form responses into an Excel document. And I will have an approval in this using Power Automate. If you enjoy Teams, SharePoint, Power Automate, and PowerOS videos, feel free to subscribe because we're going to have more videos in those areas. So let's get into the video. So I actually had a user reach out in my comments looking for a Microsoft form to go to an approval and then store that data into an Excel document. So I will be showing you how to do that. So first is you want to build your Microsoft form. So in our use case, we'll be doing our request device form. Uh, I just have a few questions here. Uh, which device are you requesting? When will we need this device by? What is your department? And any other details? So just simple form. Now your form will probably have a lot more questions than mine, but this will get us uh, started. And next is you want to create a SharePoint list. So go to home list, link list. And this is where we're going to be storing our data. I know we're storing it in Excel, but I'm also storing it in SharePoint. So we can create a link so the user can see more information about the approval. You guys will see later down the line why I'm doing this. So most of the columns are just from the question I have the device, which is the first question, when it's due by, the department, the details. The status is going to be for the approval. And this is a choice column. So I just have approved, denied, and pending. Let me zoom in for y'all. So approved, denied, pending. And then uh, I have requested by. So this will be the user who submitted the form. And this is a person column. So we want to store this information into an Excel document. So I'm storing the Excel document in SharePoint. So in the information technology SharePoint and the document library, I have for the manager only, I made this permissions for this document library. So if you go to triple dot manage access, uh, only the owners will be able to have uh, access to the edit this file. Everyone else can read it. I have created a Excel document. So we're going to create the Excel document here. So I'm actually going to delete this one. Let me open it. We'll make a new one so I can uh, look to see what I did. So we're going to open a new Excel workbook. Book one. And then in the previous one, you just basically for all the SharePoint list columns, you want to make a column for it in uh, the Excel document. So I'm just going to do that here. So we had device. You by apartment. Details. Status and requested by. Uh, if your forms a lot longer, you'll have more column headers, but my form is pretty short, so I don't have too many. And then we want to do control A to copy all the headers and then press control T. It looks like I can't do it in the web browser. So you're going to want to do format as a table. That's what control D T does. And we're going to make this a table so we can actually add rows from the power automate into this table. So we're going to select my table as headers, click on OK. And as you can see, we have a blank table. If we go to table design, we can see that our table name is table one, which is will be important in our flow. So we can actually exit out of this since uh, it auto saves in, in Excel online. So let's go back. I'm just going to delete the previous one I was working on. So we will be working with book1.xlsx. All right. So we should have everything we need for our flow. So I have created a device request flow. And this is an automatic cloud flow. So you want to click on that. And then you want to click on when a new response is submitted. So that'll be the option when I click on that and then it'll bring you to the screen. So we are using our form. So this is the request device form. It will just be the title of your form. And then for the next action, you wanna do a get response details. You're going to use the form ID request device form and it should be the only thing listed. So you wanna click on the response ID. I'm also getting the user profile from the responders email from the get response details. And this will allow me to see who submitted the form so we can store it in our Excel document. 
the responders email you want to click on that next we're going to create the item in our sharepoint list so it's going to be the information technology sharepoint which is with the uh, sharepoint i'm using the list name is device request the title a due date department and details so these are all the questions from the form so if you scroll to the get response details you can actually see all the questions and uh you're just gonna match those up to the sharepoint column you are using so for this one which device are you using that's going in the title field when would you like this dubai that's in the dubai and uh, for the status i'm actually setting these to pending so we can distinguish what's pending and what's what needs to be approved and then for the request to buy claims, I'm just using the mail from the uh, get user profile because that will match up the person in your organization to that person column. All right, for the next action, we're doing start and wait for an approval. It'll be approve, reject, first to respond. The title, you can make this whatever you want. Uh, for me, I just put new device request and then uh, I'm going to go to get response details and make sure you have a space in here so it uh, goes after the semicolon <laughs> so this will be uh which device are you requesting it's going to be assigned to your manager who or whoever has to approve this so i'm just doing myself the details you can add details here so if you want to say a uh, device so and so then add the uh content you can do that I'm not doing that because I'm actually just putting a link to the item. And I the reason I create the SharePoint list is so it creates a link to that item. And the link to the item will show all the details about the uh, submission. Uh, if you try to put it all in the details right here, you get a little sloppy, but Markdown is support if you know how to write Markdown. But uh, I, I feel like it's a lot easier just doing the link to item because once you do the create item, that will actually be an option. So if I search linked item, it will appear right here. Uh, there's a few extra options here. If you want to enable notifications, so enable reassignment, that's up to you to choose. So the flow will continue running until the person assigned to this approval responds to it. And then we have a condition. So for the outcome of the start and wait for an approval, so this will be this one is equal to approve because that will be sent back if it was approved if yes we want to update the sharepoint item so it's the same information from above the information technology sharepoint the list name device request since these fields are required so id is just going to be the id from the create item that's the id we're working with since title field is a required field in my SharePoint list, I need to put something there. So you're just copying over the title from the create item. And then we're setting the status value to approved because the uh, request was approved. And then we are actually adding a row into the table for our document. So since I removed the uh, previous file I was working with, I just have to go in and uh, add that back. So the location of this file is actually in my information technology SharePoint. It's in the documents library folder. The file is, if I click on this folder here, I can actually go into that folder and click on book1.xlsx. And this will allow me to search from a table there. So I'm clicking on table one. And as you can see, it looks at table one. It looks at all the column headers. And I'm able to fill in the information from the, you can either do the update item. Uh, you should probably do the update item because it has the update status. So you just match up the uh, fields. So device would be the title. Dubai would be Dubai. Uh, department, details, status. So that status value is going to get updated to approved. So that should update here. Requested by and then the item do buy. So since I updated this, this column actually isn't in there anymore. So when I save it, that column's gonna go away. So it should only show the columns that you currently have. But since I removed the previous file, it's still looking for that column, but it's not there. So if it's no, we're gonna set the status to denied. And then we're gonna add the 
add the column into the row, into the Excel document. So we're going to do add a row into table, location. It's going to show you uh, a bunch of stuff, the groups, uh, OneDrive. We're doing the information technology SharePoint document library. It'll show all your document libraries. I'm doing the documents, the file. So I'm going to navigate to the file, click on book one. And then for the table, it's going to be table one. And then we just want to fill in the information from the update item two. So it's going to be device title, two by department details. Status is going to be the status value and requested by will be requested by, I think we did email. So yeah, we're going to do the, uh, the email of who submitted the form. So let's go ahead and save this and uh, do a test case. So we're going to go back to the form. So which device are you requesting? We'll do an iPad. When do I need the device by? We will do March 31st. Uh, department is HR. Any other details? Please make sure it's Ruby. What is it called? Rose Gold? Oh, so Rose Gold iPad. Let's go ahead and submit this and go check on our flow. And I do need to open Teams because that's their, where the uh, request goes. It should come in in a second, the approval. So it was just creating the item and now we have the request. So if I look at my SharePoint list, we can see that the request got logged in the SharePoint list. If you want to manage it all in the SharePoint list, it's, I feel like it's a lot easier, but this is usually requested a Excel document. So I'll just let them handle that. But so we'll go to the approval in my teams. So the approval, if I click on this link. So since I clicked on the link, it will actually bring me to the, uh, all the details of the item that was submitted. And that's why I did the create item is so it brings you to a nice screen right here where you can view all the information. So if I click on approve, we'll just approve this request. I'm going to submit the response and then the rest of the flow will run. So the condition was true. It updated the item. So let's go check on the item. It got switched to approved and then the row was added into the Excel document. So let's go check out the Excel document documents manager only we'll open it and now you can see that the information was logged in the in the uh excel table so that is how you submit microsoft form responses into an excel document with an approval attached to it for fun uh, if you enjoyed the video feel free to comment like and subscribe um, if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and i will catch you in the next video